In this video, we will examine three ancient European DNA samples. One sample dates to 35,000 years ago and comes from the Bacho Kiro cave in Bulgaria. The other two samples are two late Magdalenian samples from Germany, dating to 14,000 years ago. BK-1653 belongs to one of the earliest known populations of Homo sapiens in Europe. Genomic analysis reveals that this individual was part of a population distinct from but related to later European hunter-gatherers. Notably, BK-1653 shows a close genetic affinity to the Gravedians, an archaeological culture that flourished in Europe shortly after. This sample was female and carried the mitochondrial lineage U. This lineage is now very common among Europeans. The inhabitants of Bacho Kiro Cave likely practiced a hunter-gatherer lifestyle, subsisting on large game, small animals, and seasonally available plant foods. Evidence from the site also indicates a sophisticated symbolic culture, as seen in beads made from animal teeth and ivory. The Bacho Kiro sample scores 5% Neanderthal admixture on QBM. This is much higher than the Neanderthal contribution in modern Europeans, which is around 2%. Subsequent migrations from the Middle East have greatly reduced the Neanderthal contribution in Europeans. By the time we get to the Magdalenian period, the Neanderthal contribution is already reduced to 4%. This Paleolithic Bulgarian sample is closest to West Eurasian populations according to FST analysis computed with admixtals 2. This is what she scores with my trait predictor. She is predicted to have dark brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, kinky hair, and a snub nose shape. She is predicted to be a worrier, to have intermediate odds of autism, to be lactose intolerant, to have lower empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively blood type A. She scored high for odds of AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, atrial fibrillation, bipolar 1, schizophrenia, and glioma. She scored low for odds of polycythemia vera, Alzheimer's, ADHD, and hemoglobin E disease. She carried rare risk variants for spina bifida. Now let's move on to our two Magdalenians. According to their DNA, these two individuals actually fit much better with Epigravedians, aka Western hunter-gatherers, even though they precede them by quite a lot. They are sort of a transitional population between the Gravedians and the Epigravedians, but are much closer to Epigravedians genetically. Breaking down their ancestry into more ancient components, they can be modeled as a mix of Solutrians or Proto-Magdalenians with Gravedians. This is very deep ancestry that all Western hunter-gatherers carry. Let's dive into the trait predictor results of our first Magdalenian, Okel001. She is predicted to have green eyes, medium brown hair, olive skin, straight hair, and a snub nose shape. She carried all the blue-eye haplotypes that the later Western hunter-gatherers uniformly carried. She was a worrier, had low odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, higher empathy, intermediate odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. She scored high for odds of hemoglobin E disease, AMD, rheumatoid arthritis, type 2 diabetes, type 1 diabetes, and breast cancer. She scored low for odds of migraine, cardiovascular issues, prostate cancer, polycythemia vera, and testicular cancer. She carried rare risk variants for basal cell carcinoma. Now let's move into the trait predictor results of our second Magdalenian, Okel002. He is predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin, wavy hair, and a snub nose shape. He was a worrier, had high odds of autism, was lactose intolerant, had average empathy levels, average odds of obesity, and was decisively blood type O. He scored high for odds of leukemia, male pattern baldness, bipolar type 1, schizophrenia, and glioma. He scored low for odds of epilepsy, myopia, cardiovascular issues, type 2 diabetes, and polycythemia vera. He carried rare risk variants for Parkinson's, beta thalassemia, and phenylketonuria. You can purchase their raw genomes in 23andMe format from the link in description. Thank you for watching, goodbye.